The last time Toyota built an exciting rear-wheel drive sports car, Bruce Willis was fighting asteroids in Armageddon on the big screen, Lenny Kravitz's Fly Away was tops on the radio, and Justin Bieber was still in diapers. It's been a number of years, but now Toyota is re-entering the affordable rear-wheel drive sports car scene with this. It's called the FRS, and it's not quite a Toyota. In North America, it's sold under Toyota's youthful Scion brand and was co-developed and is built by Subaru, who calls their virtually identical version of this platform-shared car the BRZ. Here's the pair of them. The FRS ticks all the right boxes as a great sports car. You can visit your local cruise night and show off the sculpted, compact and energetic styling to your pals. It has that import tuner appeal right out of the factory. Up front you get a 2 liter boxer engine mounted low and wide under the hood, lowering the center of gravity and making for better handling. With 200 horsepower and a redline well over 7 grand, it's a boatload of fun. The 6 speed manual shifter is tight and well sprung and the clutch has plenty of positive grab. It holds lots of power for fast off the line launches and doesn't feel like it's made of cheese whiz. And if you've got to get the automatic, you'll still get responsive and fun to use paddle shift performance too. Enthusiasts will love the setup and the fact that the FRS is rear wheel drive and has a traction control system that can be turned down or turned off depending on what you're getting up to. Opened up, the FRS growls along fiercely but isn't so fast that it denies all full throttle enjoyment in fear of a dangerous skid or speeding ticket. It's not incredibly fast but in 99% of driving, it's a just right amount of power. Plentiful low end torque and throttle response in traffic too. Drivers can watch their revs via this center mount tachometer with shift indicator, which takes center stage in a cockpit that's sportingly snug and colored and trimmed with more sophistication than its price suggests. The seats are great and so is the driving position and the small steering wheel and the sporty metal pedals, which are ideally placed for heel and toe shifting. All controls are within easy reach, simple to operate and laid out logically. It's a simple no BS sports car cabin, even if I did wish for a sunroof and some leather seats. Driving the FRS is undeniably tight and sporty. On rougher surfaces, it can be a busy and rough ride, but it's all balanced nicely between comfort and grip. Steering is beautiful, quick to react, loads up nicely and conveys a great feel from the road while directing the FRS around with minimal fuss and maximum urgency when pushed. Brakes are a touch stiff when first applied, but stopping power inspires confidence alongside easy modulation and good feel. The reflexes and driving dynamics here at every turn are well done and rewarding. And unlike most of its competition, including the Civic Si and Mini Cooper, this was designed as a sports car, not as an economy car from the get-go. That shows here massively. It's also very light, making it great on fuel. I was delighted at a test average of under 8 liters per 100 kilometers. So overall, a pretty glowing review so far, and it should be because what they've done with this FRS is kind of recapture some of that import tuner magic of legendary cars from the past. So if you grew up kind of owning or loving those sort of 90s sports cars like the Prelude, the Tiburon, the 240SX, the MR2, the Celica, the RX-7, Supra, AE86, Corolla, any of those, you're going to absolutely love this thing. And if you've ever had one of those 90s sports cars, you'll recognize this retro digital clock too. Standard sports car complaints apply. Rearward visibility is limited, rear seats are useless for grown-ups, and the trunk, though large enough, has a small opening. Other gripes weren't major, though I did wish for a quieter ride at highway speeds and some covered storage inside since there isn't any. The stereo screen is hard to read if the sun is out and I have arms, and they would have been happy with an armrest. End of the day, though, this is a machine with its eggs in the right basket. From under 26 grand, you get 200 snorty horsepower, great mileage, rear-wheel drive, and flattering handling dynamics on par with your average rail-mounted amusement park ride. The FRS isn't about goodies and high-tech features and posting record-setting lap times, it's about making you feel good with an affordable little riot of a sports car. If you're after a true driver's machine priced well shy of 30 grand, consider this one a priority test drive. Thanks for watching.